family, you know who this duo is. I am Mel, and this is Yeezy. Hi, baby. Welcome back to the channel. We fell on the tenth week in the row, baby. After nine weeks of being positive, we finally got a negative. It's not like I was waiting for it, but it, it's was, gonna destined, happen. it was destined to happen. But new fails, new victories, and new opportunities coming your way, baby. But, but first thing first, though, we want to say thank you for the views. We appreciate that a lot, and that uh, means the world to us since ever since we've been starting this channel. And uh, I didn't think they fathom that they was gonna take off just the way it did. I thought we would be two years, probably have like three thousand subs, but no, I was wrong on that department. And uh, thank you also for the subs. Love you guys. Hopefully you stick, you stick around. We're about to we're about to make some money, all right? So let's kick off with the goddamn car. You know what time it is? Do you know what time it is, motherfucker? Morning time! Let's get it, boy! Alright, so first fight of the night is gonna be this one. Alright, go ahead. Well, we have Nick Maximov against Andre Petroshi. You know why the main reason I love Maximo? Because he is from the uh, Nate Diaz brother, from the Diaz brother from the academy. That guy is tough as the tough that you can get. He trained himself with Nate and Nick Diaz. So you know, there is toughness over there and there is no quickness against Andre Petroski. This guy is a good wrestler, but this guy gas out so much. So I'm gonna tell you right away, this is my luck of the night, my most confident pick for this Saturday. You know that I, I don't usually like bet really hard on some fighters, but I love this guy. This guy showed me in his first fight in the UFC, in, in his debut, that he's relented with the takedown. And he took down a guy that had 100% takedown defense in Ponelele Soyano, and hit like a truck. So. If we can take punches from Soriano, I don't think that Andre Petrosi is going to be a problem. And also, Petrosi doesn't have the wrestler that this guy has. The wrestling so, background. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going with Maximo, and this is the luck of the night. That's our, That's first, our pick. first pick. And the second fight, even though there's not pick in here, we are watching this new prospect yeah. coming in. From Japan. From Japan. Suchi. Taira. Me and JC were like, okay, so we definitely want to get him, but he's debuting. And last card, we tried to place on somebody that was debuting because he had an amazing record. This guy, there is two red flags. We got, we, we got, we got, we got fucked. That's, that's that, this guy has 22 years old. He has never fought in the U.S. and he's going to debut. In the U.S., I mean, he looks on big physical performance. Yeah, but he's going to years old. You know, you know how you it know is. What, what you once, get. once, once you once you start fighting out there, and then you come to the arena. This is why you get tested. This you can be Romans. Picture it like this, friends. If you know about Greek, if you know about Greek history, the Romans were great soldiers. But if they fought one on one against any gladiator, including Spartacus, oh my God, you are in serious trouble. About to lose your limbs, because that, back in that time you wouldn't lose your time. Another, no, no, you wouldn't lose your limbs. You would lose everything. You would lose your life pretty much. So this is the same scenario. So Tyra is kicking the competition out there. See, he's the beauty. So we're not gonna talk about this anymore. We're not picking anybody here. So the next fight is gonna be between these two girls. Yandirova against Yandirova versus Hill. What happened if Yandirova loses to Hill? Uh, listen, uh, what you're gonna do if Yandirova loses? Never, I'll never, I'll never look at Yandirova. No, you ever. have to do another thing in the next video on Sunday if Yandirova loses. What you're gonna do? You I'll have to do, do a crazy right. thing. Something you said that Yandirova is gonna win. I, mean, I said that Yandirova. They put this girl for her to win. I tell you, it's gonna be closer than you think. Remember that I told you. I was right with Trinaldo the other day, remember? Yeah, but that you were right with Trinaldo the other day it doesn't mean you're gonna be right always. I've been right no, in many yeah. fights and I'm, I'm, of I'm, course, I'm, I'm of course. I can never be right uh, yeah, in, in the next true. ones. So but I'm it, it's just it's just I feel like if Yandinova takes down Angela Hill, she wins release. That's the only thing that she has to do. And she's a black belt in BJJ. But the problem is like 
she hasn't done it. She only did it in the first fight in the UFC. After that, she hasn't done it anymore. And she fought in a striker, and she didn't take it to the ground once again. Yeah, but that, 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 yeah, that is a one fight. And it, it, it is an Angela Hill. And listen, no disrespect to Angela Hill, but baby, you know, she's smoking weed and paying bills. That's it. You're not here actually, actually, you know, get, 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 go, to compete. You're not here for that. You're here to get paid. It's simple. That's how I see it. I see Angela Hill here to compete. I see Angela, I mean, I see Angela Hill here to get paid. I see Angela Hill here to compete. If I'm wrong, I am never, ever going to talk about Jandida ever again, even if you see me. And let me, let me tell you this, she's not even my favorite female fighter. I just think that she's going to take in this one, that she's got easy money to make it. I hope so. But, so we're so going with Jandida over there. We're going with Jandida over there. the second pick. The fourth fight in the night is the obvious fight that you can get. Michael Johnson against Alan Patrick. Both guys, they are like really old, almost. Uh, Patrick has 40 years and Michael Johnson has 30 38 years. and Patrick is yeah. like 35 um, and I mean Johnson is like uh, 35 yeah, yeah and Patrick is like 38 40, 40. They, are they are close to the they are close to the so 80s so you don't want to be putting money on all guys that you don't know what they are going to do so for that we are going to pass this fight the next fight is going to be Viviana Araujo against Andre Lali again Ugly fight because he can be Araujo all day, but she can like doesn't do the wrestler and Andre Lee uh, punching her. So you know again, no bet over here, no fire IQ. Mm -hmm. And remember what we say with fighters that doesn't have fire IQ, don't put money on them. Yeah. The money that you're gonna put on them, put it more on maximum. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the next fight is gonna be our third pick, Jake Hadley against Alan Nascimento. I love this guy Hadley. This guy is really good on the ground. He has really good ground and pound. And the problem with Nascimento, he loves so much to be on his back. He started doing things on his back, trying some mission and things like that. But I don't think that he's gonna get Hadley. So for that, I am going with Jake Hadley. Mm -hmm. We are going with that guy. So yep. So and the next fight is gonna be between Mr. Camacho versus. Torres. Torres El Loco. Listen, just because he's named El Loco, we're just going for him. <laughs> and he's going to be our pick. We know this guy is about to lay it down there. He's going to start punching, biting, kicking. And Frank Camacho I mean, has shown that he doesn't have his team. Torres has an impressive submission rate. This guy is scary. Like 95 percent of his fights, he has submitted his opponent. This guy is a money maker. I'm telling you, this guy is a money maker right now. Place your eyes upon this fella. And even if you don't want, like, paid. yeah. And even if you don't want to risk it, you can play. If fight doesn't go to a situation. This fight is gonna find in one way or another one because Torres is a kill or kill fighter. So you know, so. Both those two, but we think that Torres is gonna get it. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. The next one we have Kelly Chikoyan in Amanda Chikagian. Diaz. Yep. Chikagian versus I think Rivas. that this is a great mistake by Rivas because she is going up a weight class and she's gonna fight the number one contender in that division in Chikoyan. This lady is the biggest one in that division. It's gonna you're gonna see the difference. Five nine, dude. She's so going to see the difference and in the weight. And remember, when you do have weight, you are, your body, you're going to go bigger. So imagine the difference that's going to be. I think that this is a great mistake by Rivas. But remember, high risks, high rewards. So if Rivas wins against Chikogian, she can fight for the belt in that division. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like that. But well, high risks, high rewards. Again, anything can happen. And more in women's MMA. But we are going with Chipotian over here. Yeah. I left you the next one. I smell blood. Oh boy. The next one is gonna be between he Mr. Is. Grant yeah. versus Smoker. Yeah, I smell blood. Woo! Fire <laughs> Wars. Believe it or not, this fight, believe it or not, believe it. It's one of the most amazing. It's in the one of the most amazing in the car. Yes, and it's not. There's not much of a difference between the fighters. But Grant. Yeah. 
hates like a truck. He is, and he's really resilient. Yeah, and he's, got and he's a really good. He job. has a chain. He has a chain. And I mean, the guy. The only way this guy loses is by decision. The That's and it. this fight doesn't go to the decision. And if this one is not gonna go. They are putting this guy as a striker, and he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fella. So you guys know by default what our law here: jiu-jitsu guys versus strikers. Most of the time, it's gonna be jiu-jitsu guys. Cause the striker guys are gonna go for the kill, thinking, "Oh, I got you, you know? <laughs> Arm goes out the window. That's it. You lost it, baby. So yeah, we're going with Graham in this one. Graham in this one for sure. Next fight, we have Ryan Span Superman against Ion Kutelawa. This one is going to be blood again. I really love this matchup for Kutelawa. I think that his wrestling is going to be too much for Span. And also, he hits like a truck. The only I can see is like Kutelawa has been sometimes cheating and he can get knocked down by Span. Yeah, like he, he pretty much gives him the yeah. face. Hey, hit this man. I'm going to yeah. give you the first shot free. Then, yeah. Span yeah. has enough power to put this so guy down. We are going with Kutelawa over here, but also you can take fight doesn't go to the season if you want it to be more safe because this one for two is Kutelawa though play. has to play his cards yeah. really well in this fight. Yeah. I believe we do believe that Kutelawa has the skill set to be Span. Yeah, sometimes he gets so crazy. But he has to pay attention to the measurement of these fellas. Span is a lot bigger, he's a lot yeah. taller than him, has bigger reach than he does. And hit really hard. And he hits really he hard. Kutelava is to trade one or two or three punches and, and then try to take it to the ground. Yeah. yeah. Try to take him to the ground yeah. and then slow him down. Yeah. Try to kick him in the lead leg if he has some kicks in there. But he's got to tire his pan out just a little bit and take yeah. it to the ground. I think and that he passed the first round, he would. He should. Yeah. He should. He should take it. Uh, we go to the main event of, of the, the evening. We have Rakovic versus Rocky, the T Rex no. of the UFC. I call it the T Rex. Ah, Shut okay. the fuck up. <laughs> in the rocket. The rocket. I call it the T Rex. Listen, man. I was not. I was not. I'm not gonna say I was not a fan of Rocket because no, it's, we not, are. it's not that. It's not that. It's not that I wasn't. It's that I didn't know him. And JC one day tells me this guy's gonna fight. I take a look at his physical composition, yeah. and then I take a look at his fights, and then I'm like, I'm oh, still skeptical, you know. We have been watching. Then I saw him fight against like, Anthony Smith. You yeah. you remember that night? 25 minute wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. Listen, he beat Thiago Santos. This guy's a monster. I mean, you check your Instagram. He's always training all day and all day eating, uh, you know, eating the, rocks and stuff. Yeah. And this he, guy, I, I don't think that his wife is happy with him. He is this, all day training. This guy, this guy eats, Had the potential. eats machetes and he shits out steel. Yeah, yeah. Really this guy tough. is tough. Blakovich is another tough son of a bitch. Yeah. I cannot take away from, regardless of, of what Boy people think about his record and yeah. all that. Boy this guy power. was a champion a couple of days ago. Yeah. This guy is dangerous regardless that he lost to the same. And the kicks the, that he has, the liver kicks. Did you remember the fight against uh, Dominic Reyes? Yes, he destroyed Dominic yeah. like boy Dominic Reyes. The, 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 the roof that he had, only one. We are not placing it, just to let you know. We are not placing it. Remember, it's our, we're just talking uh, yeah. here. Our main rule is no bet no, on main no, event. Don't bet on the main event because. Only if it's manager who is fighting. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Uh, now. Oh, Rocky, Valentina Chichik. Rocky, the only thing that you have to watch out for here. For I think that you have. This guy's kicks. Yeah. And he had to wait like two rounds, like a slow. Like yeah, he has to slow, slow him down. They, he's got to trade punches and try to take him to the dark. He, he's got to slow him down. And also the kicks. Rocky lands a lot of kicks. And remember that Blackovich is a, is, a, is a good boxer. So if he start landing kicks on the on the lead leg, it's going to slow him down. That's what he needs to do. I think yeah. that if this pass, like the second round, uh, Blackovich is going to get tired. Because Blackovich, if you check your record, he only wins one and the second round. He loves to hit, you know, even if you see the fight, yeah, he, he won. When he, he fights, he's coming And Isaiah, he goes like crazy. What happened was that Isaiah was 20 pounds less, and this guy was like 40 pounds over him when he rehydrated, so he couldn't take it down really easy. But he was losing the fight with Isaiah, with the kicks and everything. But in the fourth and the fifth round, he started taking down Isaiah. So, there you have it, fellas. So, let's wrap it up real quick. Yeah. 
Let's so go. They can remember, it's gonna be a new winning streak. The first fight of the night and the lock. Write it down. That's just the lock of the night where you can put the most money that you can. Nick Maximo, okay? That is our first pick. The second pick is Brina Yandirova against Angela Hill. The third pick, Jay Hadley against Alan Nascimento. The fourth pick, Kylen Chikogian. The five pick, David Grant. Oh, no, you, you, you missed, you missed Torres. Oh, Torres, and Lobo. Yes, Camaro, Camacho, yeah. Camacho versus Torres. And we're, Lobo, going, we're, with going, Torres. we're going for the Lobo. Yeah. Yeah, we like the craziness. <laughs> we are going with Kutelao. So we yes. have six picks. Okay? Yeah, we have six picks. Let's make some money. Let's make some money, baby. And, and, and if you're not betting, enjoy the fight. Grab some Smirnoff. That, by the way, I didn't know Smirnoff that brought alcohol. They gave me a Smirnoff and I just drank mm -hmm. that shit. That was uh, like a soft drink. I don't feel any alcohol, but I'm still feeling it right now. So I'll catch you guys later. See, <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye bye. bye.